Telesa Tete is actually the more at energy I, I receive mentally and, and, and physically. As you get closer, then I get a lot of energy because I've been training for some months now, focusing for October. <laughs> So far, things are still calm. Today's session was good. I mean, uh, we see athletes are, are developing very well. Elliot has adjusted very well. You know, if you look at all the, 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 the fundamental uh, things that you require to, to be ready for an event, uh, uh, you know, he's actually on schedule. Today, you know, you could see he was really relaxed. And of course, it, for many people, it's, it's tough. But you can see it's relaxed. I think it's on schedule for the event. I normally think, but not always. I am trying all, 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 all means to just put off. But in, in my in front of my mind, I know there is a hard task of 159. I don't want to be mad when I always think of running 159 instead of training. On your side? On your side? I'm really a happy person when I learned that uh, that's go beyond uh, uh, where we live, beyond my camp, beyond our camp with, uh, and let us spread, go to other athletes, go to other uh, social runners. And th that, that's what is required in this world, that uh, we need to, to make everybody run, we need to make everybody believe in himself, we need to make everybody uh, think positive in what the, he or she is, is, is doing. My role as manager is to make sure that the, the coach, the, um, the nutritionist, the um, physiotherapist, the sports doctor, that they are all thinking in the same direction and that they are one close team together and giving the same message to the athlete.
first of all, you have to stay really close to, to what is driving Elliot as an athlete. Uh, so I can have all sorts of ideas, but if it doesn't fit with Elliot, uh, we should not go that direction. In uh, last December, December 2018, we were in uh, Monaco for the IWF uh, Gala uh, with Elliot and with Patrick Sang and Jos Hermans and myself and we had some conversation together and, and Elliot was listening in a nice way to, to our advice and, and in the end he stayed a little bit silent and he said it's a nice advice but I would really like to break the two hours and I would like to do it now before Olympics. I'm totally convinced inside myself that this time it's going to happen. This is actually a trying to make history. And making history is that uh, you need somebody who have been, who have been there together for, for a very long time. Friendship is about life and life is a, is a journey. The moment I'll be making history, then they will be part of the history. The roles of a pacemaker, we are going to break the wind so that we cushion Eliud. And for Eliud, some of close friends to be there is really crucial for him to give him moral support and also to motivate him. Us being there and us being trained with him all the time, we have been chatting around, he will feel easy for him for, and he will feel more comfortable seeing us around and helping us around. So. We have one focus, very simple. In October, we want to help Elliot to be in the best position with the Pacers. And at the same time, all of you are going to learn something that when you are running your own race, that you can make use of it if you keep your mind sharp at this moment. In Formula One and cycling, aerodynamics is really important. This is the, the uh, Monza formation. Yeah, this was exactly the Monza formation. There's a pyramid of six in front, and then there are three athletes in line behind. And Elliot would be positioned as the first of those three athletes. Guys, hmm? can some of you can help Patrick with one pair of glasses? <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, or longer arms, huh? Yeah, he might need a little bit longer arms. <laughs> But this is a serious job because what Anthony was doing well is that he was coaching the three on the left side and the three on the right side. Now that is your job. Yes? So, so let's correct one thing. Eh? That was the other group tried to correct in a good way. The distance between the two of you should be constant. Yeah. yeah? It's great actually to to mix all the pacemakers from 1500 meters of the marathon and from different countries, from different continents. And, and it's good because this is making history in the whole world, which will affect the, the whole uh, six, seven continents in this world. And, and everybody will carry the message. I want the message to go across all the continents. <laughs> this race is, extra, is an extraordinary race in itself. I mean, you find that uh, it's kind of a melting pot because uh, this is the only race where you can find a 1500 meter runner and a marathon runner competing or rather playing the same role. So it's really, it's really extraordinary in its sense. The experience is great, at least we'll be having guys with good speed, we'll be having guys with uh, good endurance and we'll be having guys from all sorts of uh, backgrounds in their achievement and careers. <laughs> You know, the, the first one, yeah. we are not following the bus. Yeah. We are running here. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys, you are following, you are trying yeah. to follow each other. Yeah. But you are running here, somebody is running there. So you are running straight, not following the, the path of a uh, So the chances of the wind going through is yeah. very high. When you are with, in a marathon, 
you are normally you are running in front, uh, either in between the pacers or or next close next to the pacers, but not so many times, really close behind somebody. Yes. Uh, so I said to Patrick, maybe you can bring back a little bit your track mind, uh, because on the track you are running close on the the one uh, in front of you, because the closer you can stay, not besides the one in front of you but really behind and close on him it helps you a lot in aerodynamics Elliot, if we practice to our body it will be really an inspiration to all of us yeah, as athletes everybody in, uh, that everything is possible it's only a matter of you focusing a matter of you committing yourself when people will be talking about this 20 15 or 30 years from now. I know that I, I, I'll be proud guy knowing that I was part of history. It gives us uh, abnormal satisfaction. Yeah, you cannot quantify it when you see an athlete grow. And I asked myself, uh, supposing 18 years ago, 19 years ago, I had refused to, to give uh, support to this young man. The, whatever he was asking, were we going to realize history? Were we going to, to see the phenomenal running in marathon that we, we, are, we are seeing? And that is something that has remained with me. Okay, it was with me, but it was reinforced after that self-reflection that we owe a lot to the society. In whatever we do, whatever we are good at. So to me, I'm giving back. I'll get 100% joy. You know, when I see it happen, and it, it happens and you are part of the picture. It gives you a special satisfaction you cannot quantify in anything. Boom. The way I know Elliot 
he feels real pressure and gets really nervous uh, for competitions. The way for him to, to handle that pressure is to, to have an, a perfect preparation. And if he has the, the preparation right, that gives him the calmness and the routine to, to be convinced in the event that, that he is he's going to do it. There's a, a big difference between now and any other competition because there's one athlete in the event and he has never been in a situation like that. In Monza there were three athletes. Uh, this one is all about Elliot and he will feel it also like that. And in the end he is the one who can only make it a real success and that is where he feels the, the pressure and he wants to do it for himself but at the same time he wants to do it for everybody who is involved in the event and, and everybody who believes in him he wants to, to show that they believe with a reason in him. My real thinking is about uh, the right pace, the right time, and, and, and how I call it too. And I respect the distance. Uh, pressure is there in marathon, and uh, you know, it's, uh, I can say it's a, pressure is a lot in marathon because it's, it's a long journey. And you know, I actually think of what you'll be doing after every maybe five, 10 kilometers, 15. So there's a big pressure all through to the 42 kilometers. You know, it's a long thing and you need to think of how to tackle the whole 42 kilometers. That's the pressure. <laughs> I don't know where the limit is, but I hope to, to go there.